Kukuni peace salam, my love is marhaba habibete. So today is time, sorry, I just recorded a video in Arabic and my instinct is like, why are you talking English? What's happening? <laughs> I need to get ready with me for this look, which will go up on Thursday. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys about the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Synchronized Complex 2. So it's $65 for the 0.5 ounces. Um, so there's as much product in here as there is, one second, in my Chanel. Eye cream, I'll link the review for this guy down below. But do you see the difference in packaging? So this one you're getting a lot more packaging, this one you're getting a lot less packaging. And this one is $225 or $250. Um, this one is $65. So not that I think you're paying for packaging, but there is smaller packaging. And it's also not as like so this part is glass, but this part's kind of a plasticky material. Um so I feel like in some ways they're skimpy on packaging. But the product in here is lovely. I was really, really hoping that I would love this so much that it would replace this as my holy grail eye cream. And I'm not quite there. <laughs> so I'm glad that I did purchase the full size of this. Um, but I do think that when it runs out, I will be repurchasing this one. Um, it is lovely. I just, I can't get over the Chanel. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why. But let's talk about this guy. So, um, it's supposed to be like a serum, more, they, they promote it as a serum. It comes in this, um, container right here. The same as like all the adva other advanced night repairs from Estee Lauder. And then this is, I just, I've, I used a full sample size. I like had to twist this one open because this is the first full, I, oh my gosh. I had deluxe sample size of it that I used up completely and I really enjoyed it and that's why I bought the full size but I haven't dug into this guy yet. Um, so I'm imagining that it's going to be harder to get your finger in all the nooks and crannies in the bottom because the top is so small but I did want to show you the consistency. Um, do you guys see it's like a gel-ish formula? I'm trying to work with natural light today and uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm back at the beginning of my channel where I was like, damn you clouds from went around making weird shadows in my day. But that's the kind of consistency it is. I've been doing my makeup so I'm not going to stick my finger in there. But it is a nice gelish consistency and you put it on underneath your eyes and I use it on, on like all around at the top and the bottom and I get it right up next to my um, to my lower lashes, um, like to that lash line. And so because I do that, because like my my fine lines are so close. A lot of eye creams that I try out irritate my eyes and I can't deal with them. This one does not do that. It's really lovely. It's cooling. It's hydrating. Um, I think it does... I don't have really bad dark circles. For, so for me, it's the hydration and helping with some of the the fine lines. And I think it does both well. Um, I think the reason it hasn't knocked this guy out yet is because it does it well, but not quite as well as this one. Like there's a couple <laughs> degrees of separation between how well this one does it. Um, this one, the Chanel one also has some sort of um, ingredients in there are supposed to help uh, detox that skin um, and purify and that kind of stuff. Uh, and I don't know why I buy into it. it it's, it's, you know, when you wear something like a Sunday Riley Good Jeans and your skin just looks that much better. My under eye area just looks that much better with the Chanel. This one does everything really lovely and it is really good. It just doesn't give me that extra little pow. Um, and there's something about it being a gel texture which is lovely and hydrating and it absorbs really quick. But for me, for some reason, there's maybe even the psychological effect of the other one is nice, like a nice thick cream. I like feeling that nice thick cream underneath my eyes and I feel like it's just nice and comforting. Do you guys ever do that with your moisturizer, even your face moisturizer? You want something nice and thick. Um, this was not meant as a comparison video. I was just, this is my holy grail and this is what I bought to knock it off that pedestal. I really do enjoy it. I will use it all up. And it is really nice. On the higher end spectrum, like as you start dipping your toes into more high-end eye creams, this one is definitely one to keep an eye for. Um, it does everything really lovely. It's not going to completely break the bank. It is $65 and it will last you months. Um, so give it a try. It is a really good product. Let me know if you guys love it, what your favorite Holy Grail, Holy Grail eye creams are. I feel like I'm rambling in circles, so I'm going to wrap it up. But uh, let me know all your thoughts, questions, comments, all that kind of good stuff down below. I'm going to do some points of positivity and I will be done. So my first point of positivity is a really uh, yummy breakfast wrap that I had this morning. 
Um, my second point of positivity is heading out to go see a friend for lunch in a little bit, which is making me happy. And my third point of positivity is my friend Noelle is back in town, well, in her town, <laughs> so I can talk to her more easily. She was out of town for the weekend, and so um, we didn't get to chat as much, and I miss talking to her. So I'll link Noelle's channel down below in case you haven't checked her out. Um, but yeah, that's about it for me today. I want to send you ever so much love. Thank you as always for being here, and I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys!